Hey, what's up, y'all? Patrick back with another video, and today we got TXT with uh, what is this album called? <laughs> I could have sworn I knew what the album was called, but I think it was a lot to the name, if I'm right. Uh, the album is called Mini Sewed Three Tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we got this album. It's five songs on here, extra. Well, actually, it's uh. I want to say it's six, but not really. It was one thing up on there. It just had a lot of uh, underscores, a lot of dashes or whatever. It was like seven seconds long. I listened to it uh, on my own. I didn't need to put that up in there. But yeah, we got six songs. So let's get into it. Let's go. Someone like you is a song what is going on? What is going on? You better sing. This house music? Okay. Oh yeah. Turn this up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Ooh, they took the video. Is that a compliment? <laughs> Is that a compliment though? Tell you. Because of your golden hair, it was like loving a shiny wheat field. Like, I don't know the texture of a wheat field. <laughs> I had some wheat bread before. I don't know. I don't know. I get to teach his own, I guess. Okay. <laughs> His voice fit good for this. You better sing. Oh, I like that. I like that. Ooh. I am in the club right now. You hear me? Hold on. Was building up. You better build up. You better build up. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's how they starting the album off. They starting the album off with that. Oh boy. Okay, that just got me hot. That, that that just got me warm. It got me warm. It got the juices flowing. And then after that, it had that seven second thing. Uh, yeah. And then after that, it had Deja Vu, which is a big bop too. Then let's get into Miracle. Whoo! Look, I don't know what to expect after this. This got me kind of pumped up. 
This is house music. This is good old fashioned house music right there. All right, let's go, let's just go. Oh, come on, internet, please don't do it. Please don't do me like this, internet. Please don't, please don't. Please don't, internet, internet, please. Okay, let's, let's, let's try again. It's nothing without you. Mm. Mm. This like old school K-pop for me. Yeah. So we better sing, okay? This is so nostalgic. Oh, I love this. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. I heard them ad libs, let's go. Wow. That's crazy. That was only two minutes and forty seconds, but that that song felt like that song felt like four minutes, bro. That felt so nostalgic, man, because it's like I remember when I first got into K-pop, which was like around 2013, 2014, around that time. And one of the main groups that got me into K-pop, probably the main group, uh, two, Big Bang and 21, they both had songs that sound like this. And, and, you know, it made me feel very good about k-pop yeah i can't think of that song right now um but it was a few songs they just felt so nostalgic listening to this right here you know it just it made me think that it immediately made me think that man txt is going to be and it already is but you know in the future i can see them being just a very timeless group here for a long long time and their music is just so timeless. And I haven't heard much of their music, you know. There's still some albums that I need to check out and stuff. But no, that was very good. I really enjoyed that, man. Yeah, great job. Great job. All right, let's get into the next one. What's going on here? Okay. Where we're going? Where we're going with this? Anytime you hear, bum, 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 bum. where we going? Where we going?
Ooh. Oh, we going that way. He said, I only hold on. He said, I'll obey you. I'll serve you. You kill me. Ooh, ooh, he's, he's, ooh, tame me. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Instead of saying, ooh, hold the lyrics, hold on, y'all, hold on. Hold on now. In such a common phrase, I'll love you. Instead, I'll say, I belong to you. Ooh, I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know. We'll talk after this. Okay, but. Damn. That's serious. Come on, super. Talk to her. Oh, it said you just. <laughs> I thought he said you just need to have my baby. I thought he was like you. You just need to have my baby girl. Shoot, I just want to belong to you forever. We need to lock this down, okay? We need to have a baby. Lock this down, you know. Shoot, shoot. Oh, ooh, but he said have me baby i mean you know it's still still there but you know hey let me drink some water ooh, that sound good Oh, now this is sexy. Come on, internet, internet, please, please, internet. Please don't ruin my vibe. Do not ruin my vibe. Don't ruin my vibe. Ah, this was good. This was good. Bum, bum, bum. Now nah, let me hear that part again. Let me hear that part again. It's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. That was only a minute. And, that was only two minutes and 40 seconds too. But I'm, I'm, I'm straight with that. You know, I'm straight with that. To me, if you got a vibe like that, I'll put it on repeat. <laughs> I'll put it on repeat. No problem. Nah, that was sexy. That was sexy. They had, they had the right vibe. The lyrics was the lyrics was a little crazy. I don't know if you want somebody. Let me know, y'all. Because for me, at least, I'm all I'm all for, you know, someone being in love with me, someone loving me and, you know, me loving someone as well. 
but I don't want nobody to want to belong to me. I, I, I don't know. You know, I look because I, I don't belong to the, even if I get into a relationship, I don't want to belong to somebody. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not your property. You ain't my property. But is that what they mean? Or, or do they just mean like belong to, you know, being in a relationship, belong to somebody? I don't know. I don't think that's what they're talking about. I think they're talking about some extra stuff. Kind of like with, with a dog or a cat or something, you know, a pet. Kind of like being their owner. Like they want to be put on a leash or something. Or in the cage of love. Look, I don't know. I don't know. But that was very good. Let's get into the next one. Bam, bam you. What's, what's that? Taehyun. You know, what's... sing like that before he, the amount of passion in his voice bro nah also i got some things to say about this song but it's about to be over anyway so he sounds very good right here Whew, man, you know, I really love this song. You know why? Because I'm pretty sure y'all heard the term midnight crisis. Not midnight crisis. <laughs> Midlife crisis, you know. Like usually when you're like 50 or 45 or something like that, you know, like half, you're in the middle of zero years old to 100 years old, you know. And that's usually, I guess, when a midlife crisis happens, you know, I guess, you know, whether you feel like, uh, you know, you start reflect reflecting on life, you know, trying to figure out have you done the things that you wanted to do in life, you know, because you're getting up there in age and stuff like that. Or just, you know, any type of mental things going on. We never hear about a quarter life crisis. For me right now, currently, I'm 29 years old uh, and. I can say my 20s was mentally so stressful. Uh, there was no, there was no like roadmap on how to succeed, roadmap on how to find your purpose. None of that, you know, unless you had, uh, 
unless you had good peers, you know, pe- people who drove you to do that, or you just had that big ambition on your own. But is there's really no guidance on how to on how to live as a new adult at all. So, man, a quarter life crisis is crazy because you're really trying to figure out your purpose. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're going. You know, you don't know the destination. You don't know the destination at all. Uh, you know, you got a destination in mind, but some, some people really don't, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. You, so many things going through your mind. Sometimes you feel older than you actually are. Uh, yeah. Your twenties is a, Ooh, that is a, that's mentally stressful as hell. I can't speak for no other older age. I ain't there yet, but in the, the, the twenties, my twenties, very, very stressful. For so many reasons, and I'm pretty sure it was for y'all too, or it is or will be. I don't know y'all ages, but I, I'm glad they made this song, Quarter Life Crisis, because I've never heard that before. I've never heard that. It to me, that should be talked about as well, just as much as midlife crisis, because we important too, okay? Shoot, <laughs> we important too. Hell, <laughs> all right, let's get to the next song. Oh yeah, this was this the last one. This was the Animoa, Animoia, Animo. It's that remix one that's at the end. Okay, let's go. This rock version, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Come on. was good yeah is that it yeah yeah i enjoy that i still enjoy the the normal version better um i like the bass in it you know and i like that beat and everything but i like this remix as well this remix i thought that's what i thought deja vu was actually going to sound like i didn't think the normal version was going to sound like what it sounded like but i still enjoy that too man now this is solid album this is a solid album, man. If I had to pick a favorite from this album, I'll probably say. I want to say The Killer. I ain't going to lie to you. 
I want to say the killer, but then I want to say I'll see you there tomorrow. And I think I've seen that they had live stages for I'll see you there tomorrow too. So I'm very curious on how that's going to be. I'm going to watch that over on Patreon uh, if you want to go check it out with me. I'm also watch the uh, Deja Vu live stages too. I'm about to watch that soon. Yeah, but I just fresh in my mind. But now this album, this album was very nice. Even Quarter Life. Quarter Life is something that needs to be talked about a lot more. In my opinion, Miracle is good too. I really enjoyed this album, man. They make some solid mini albums. They really do. Now, hopefully next album, let's get a full one in. <laughs> I want a full album. Yeah, yeah. I want a full album now because I enjoy these mini albums, but it, it, it leaves me, even though I'm like satisfied, at the same time, it leaves me wanting more, you know, but I think that's just me in general as a music lover. If, if there's a very good album, I just want more music then. Yeah, so I probably should calm down, right? Yeah. <laughs> Noted. Either way, that was all for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll catch y'all the next one. Peace.